Hey everyone, this is video number one of my new video series here called Take the Stage with Steph. I am Steph Dorworth, I'm the creator of this group and of the Bikini Competition Prep Guide, which you can find at thebikinicoach.com. It's free, you can also sign up for the free PDF ebook version of it if you prefer that. All right, so Take the Stage with Steph. This is a video series that I'm starting this year in 2021, just to get in here, get in this group once a week or so to just share information, anything and everything about competing, whether it be about different leagues, you know, what you need to do to take the stage, finding your suit, finding your heels, how you should wear your heel, your training, your nutrition, everything competing, any topic is free game. And so this week, I am going to start with choosing your league. You know, when it comes to competing, there are many different leagues that you can compete in. So for week one, I have chosen to discuss the ABA, INBA, PNBA league. It's the natural bodybuilding league. And today, today I'm going to highlight that league, share with you more about its history, the different bikini divisions you can compete in, how you can register, and just more information so you can learn about this league and decide if it's the right league for you or not. If not, no worries. Next week, I'm coming right back at you with another league, okay? So this is the league I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to share with you a lot of information from their website. It's all on their website. I didn't make any of this up. I'm just sharing with you a recap of what this league is all about so you can decide if it's the right fit for you. Now, everything I'm gonna talk about, I've also put in a blog format. So you can go to thebikinicoach.com, to the blog there, and you can just read about it there if you'd prefer to do that versus watching me talk about it. Okay, so you guys, here we go. Well, let's zoom in on my screen and I'm gonna share with you everything there is to know about this league so you can decide if it's the right one for you. All right, you guys, let's take a look at the ABA, INBA, and PNBA. All you have to do is go to naturalbodybuilding.com and you'll come up on their website right here. So basically, like what are all these letters I'm saying? ABA, INBA, PNBA. <laughs> okay, so ABA is the Amateur Bodybuilding Association. It was founded in 1977 by Denny Kekos, and that was the original association. But over time, they expanded. They wanted to expand to INBA, an international league, where they could have international shows and have people from all over the world compete in that. And then they eventually expanded to the PNBA, which is the Pro Bodybuilding Association. So people who started as amateurs can then compete, make it to qualify for a pro show, and eventually become a pro. So in this league, that's the three options, amateur, international, or pro, all right? So basically what happens is the pros are the ones that can go to Olympia each year. And I'm not talking about the regular Olympia that you would see, you know, streaming live and on TV or go to Vegas to see or Orlando this year. You know, I'm talking about natural Olympia. They have a natural Olympia each year and it's run by this league. So this league is very different from others like the NPC, WBFF, and such because this league does drug testing. They're known for doing these drug-free contests. All competitors are drug tested and must comply with the anti-doping code. You can go on their website and you can go under this testing tab here click on the bottom to learn more about this code and what sort of tests you have to take, either blood tests, urine samples, to pass and qualify to compete in one of their shows. Um, you also have to have two character references attesting that you are drug free in order to compete. So you can learn more here on their website about that. Also, if you go up to the events tab here, you can see that they do have shows scheduled for 2021, which is very exciting. With COVID and everything, they aren't starting until about March. It gives you plenty of time to start prep now in January for a March or April show later this year. And they have them scheduled all the way out through July as of right now, when I'm recording this January 5th, 2021. All right, so to go to a show and compete as an amateur, you have to first join the league, which is $89.95 a year to join this league. You can find discount codes 
up top here on their website all over. Okay, and then you have to register for the actual show you want to do. So let's say I click on this one. You'd want to contact whoever's putting this show on and learn how to register and what the cost of registering for that specific show is. Okay, you guys, let's finally move on to the different categories. If you go up top to categories, female categories, you can see they have many different categories. And what I love about this league is they do not discriminate against people that are physically challenged or people that have tattoos and such. So they do have physically challenged wheelchair and physically challenged standing um, categories that you can compete in, which I think is just so wonderful. Anyone can compete. In addition, they have um, the women's ink and tattoo category and body quest categories for those that have gone through a bigger transformation. Okay, so now let's focus in on those bikini categories because they sure do have a lot. I want to break it down. So there are about six categories in these tabs here that are bikini related. So the first one is going to be women's sports model. If you click on it, you can learn that it's it requires you to do an individual walking and posing routine in a sports bra and shorts. Okay, the second one that's bikini related is bikini divas. This one is also individual walking and posing, but you're in a two-piece swimsuit and heels. So this is kind of your classic bikini competitor one here. All right, the third one is Bikini Mamas, and this is for new mothers who have given birth within the last one to three years. You pose in a two-piece swimsuit and heels. So it's just like Bikini Divas, but specifically just for women who have given birth within the past three years. Okay, the fourth category, bikini related, is Swimsuit Model. This one is unique because it's a one-piece fashion swimsuit and heels, so just a little bit different. If those of you who maybe aren't comfortable in a two-piece, this may be the perfect category for you. Moving on to the fifth category option, which is angels. This is basically just like bikini divas and such, but you also put on a set of wings like, like a Victoria's Secret model, which is kind of fun and unique in a way. All right, and finally, the sixth category, which is a little different, but it's evening gown. So maybe you want to do a couple categories, you guys, like have fun with it. Maybe you want to do a divas and angels and an evening gown and get to get on stage multiple times in one night. If you have the money to sign up for multiple categories, go for it, because honestly, your time on stage is going to fly by and just getting to be up there for 20 to 30 seconds for one category is going to feel like, oh my gosh, like I worked so hard for this only to get up on stage once or twice. But if you do a few different categories, you get to have a little bit more fun, spend more time up there and show off all your hard work in different fun costumes and wings or gowns and such. Okay. So I do want to mention that although these are all these are all amateur categories, if you were to become a pro, only um, three of these categories are in the pro league, the PNBA that I mentioned earlier. So the three of those are the women's sports model, the bikini divas, and the angels. Those are the only three that the pros can compete in. So keep that in mind. All right, you guys. So overall, we've covered the history of the league, the shows available this year, the drug-free component of this league, and that's what makes it unique and also not discriminating against physically challenged. And lastly, we've covered the six different divisions that are bikini related. So as you can see, you have a lot of different options to choose from. Click on these tabs, learn more about each category. You can see a picture to get an idea of, you know, what each category would look like on stage. And overall, Sounds pretty darn good to me. If you can pass the drug test, look at those rules. If you can pass, I say go for it. This is a smaller league. It's an all-natural league, so it's going to be a more even playing field for you. A um, lot less women compete to compete against, so you have a better chance of winning. And also winning with confidence, knowing that you won um, competing against other women who were also drug-free. No one was, uh, you know, had a, an advantage against the other. All right, well, I think we've covered the gist of it. I hope you feel like you've learned a little bit more about this, what maybe will work, what maybe won't. Are you leaning toward it? Are you leaning toward a different league? We shall see. So anyways, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was and you want more helpful information, go to thebikinicoach.com where I have a lot of different old, older like blog posts and links to YouTube videos and such so you can continue to learn on this journey toward taking the stage. Thank you.